Fitzgerald. Perhaps no team and player experienced a greater turnaround than Pat Fitzgerald and the Northwestern Wildcats of 1995 and 1996. Over the previous 25 seasons, the school won only 46 games. But with Fitzgerald leading the nation's top scoring defense, Northwestern went on to win back-to-back -back Big Ten titles as he helped take the purple to Pasadena for the first time in 47 years. The two-time consensus All-America had a collegiate first, winning both the Bednarik and Nagurski Awards as a junior and senior. Fitzgerald returned to Evanston in 2006 as Northwestern head coach. You won the Bednarik Award, you won the Nagurski Award, the only player to ever do that. Now you're the head coach of your alma mater, Northwestern. How do you convince your players to buy in? Do you just, are you like Joe Pud, do you go out there and physically like headbutt them before practice to get them <laughs> motivated? Well, you hope you recruit the right young man to buy into the culture and the values of your program. And you know, when you have an opportunity to be at a school like Northwestern, it's, it's a golden opportunity academically, socially, and, and an opportunity to compete in the Big Ten. And so typically you have a young man that comes in already intrinsically motivated. Now our job is to make sure we put him in the best position to help him grow and, and let him have some fun. And I think that's what we've all learned as we've been around each other, these three great opportunities that we've had. The great game of football has taught us so much about life, given us unbelievable opportunities, but it's all been a lot of fun. Uh, you're getting the Wildcats to bowl games now. You played in a Rose Bowl, but when you went to Evanston, what was the culture like then? Great people, unbelievable people, but the, the attitude of winning and what it took to win was not there, and, and I feel forever privileged to have the opportunity to play for a great coach like Gary Barnett, and that attitude was changed, and it was changed because of the players that that coaching staff recruited and the opportunity that they gave us to come together and the patience that they had to help us grow and develop. It didn't happen overnight. It took time. And it also happened from the great players that played before us, like the great players that are here this, this weekend. And as Coach Paterno said, we are the stewards of the game. And those that have come before us make the game what it is today, and hopefully us today will make it what it is tomorrow. To make sure that your names are duly honored and the memory that of you made certain as long as time shall endure, I now, on behalf of the National Football Foundation, declare you enshrined into the National Football College Hall of Fame. Congratulations, gentlemen.